morning and welcome to day two of BWB. This is BWB TV and I'm joined this morning by Dr. Sadish Nadig, uh, who is an endowed chair in solid organ transplantation at MUSC. So what drew you to MUSC? Well, I mean, MUSC is such a unique place. When you combine innovation, uh, clinical excellence, uh, really just the, the beauty of the town with Southern hospitality, it's hmm. hard to say no, you know. Uh, hmm. Originally, I'm from South Carolina. I trained all over the world. I did my residency at, at Harvard and my PhD at Oxford, went to University of Michigan for my transplant surgery specialty training. And uh, it, was, um, it was sort of a no brainer when I decided to come back home to Charleston, South Carolina to start my career and uh, really haven't looked back since. Can you describe uh, living and working in Charleston, South Carolina? Yeah, so uh, there's really not much better than living in Charleston, South Carolina. When hmm. you're about 10 minutes from six different beaches, it, it can't, get, can't get better than that. Um, but what's, what's really interesting is it's, it's that uh, big city feel, but, um, but really in a medium-sized town that's just cosmopolitan. It's growing, it's vibrant. There's this real startup culture there. Um, there's buildings that are being, that are, that have already been built that are, uh, for example, like the West Edge uh, hub, Discovery Hub, which is the, the technology hub for MUSC that's right on campus. Um, the, the airport is international. Uh, it's, it's just a, a, a top-notch place that, you know, you have the state's number one hospital in uh, a city that's ranked in, in, the, in the top five in the country, I would say, if not the highest. So um, really a great place to live. So how have industry collaborations, innovations at MUSC um, and in Charleston affected your practice? Yeah, so that's a great question. So globally speaking, um, innovations like uh, our, our collaborations with Medtronic and Siemens uh, on an institutional level really lift the entire innovative culture of the institution. Um, on a granular level, we s support and collaborate with uh, local life sciences companies, um, such as First String Biosciences, for example, where people are looking at um, other realms of, of technologies in other disease processes and then realize, well, look at MUSC, we have a huge transplant research institute. <laughs> I wonder if this can actually fit into transplantation. We're able to really plug and play with these um, with these local life sciences industries, and uh, we've been able to do that and been successful with um, NIH small business technology transfer grants, um, as well as uh, really building the culture of the startup um, uh, technology uh, uh, at, at MUSC um, from my personal clinical practice, but as an institution as a whole as well. So. So what is next for the transplant program at MUSC? Well, what's really interesting with the transplant program is that there's, there's various pods that are already quite well funded uh, at MUSC. One of those being the Transplant Clinical Research Core. Another uh, is our basic science laboratory that is uh, endowed by the Lee Barclay Patterson Memorial Foundation. So it's a Lee Patterson Allen Transplant Immunobiology Laboratory. We have a clean cell facility right on site. Um, we also have an immunoengineering core and a very active foundation for research and development. So what we're doing now is actually putting that all under one umbrella and making that the Transplant Research and Immunobiology Institute. Um, what that allows us to do is really be on the cusp of the next era of transplant. So transplant can really be broken into four eras. The era of immunosuppression, where people tried to get organs from rejecting. The era of preservation, where preservation solutions were developed to, to really spread the field and allow organs to last longer out of the body. The era of technique, where we just got better at doing the transplants themselves. And um, what, what I feel is we're on the cusp of the next era of transplant, and that's what I think is the era of technology. And I think MUSC is really poised to launch us into that next era of transplantation. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. So thank you for joining us this morning, no uh, and thank you for watching. Please stay tuned to the, uh, for the next installment of BWB-TV. Thank you.